But the way to recognize this tree is um, that it has a compound leaf. So a leaf with several different leaflets. Broadleaf pepper tree has very attractive red berries. Birds are attracted to them because they're fleshy. Small tree or shrub, it can be multi-stem, just like this one here. And it also has the ability to sucker from its root system. Broadleaf pepper is poisonous. So that's why, it, why it's important to have covered clothes, you know, wear gloves and eye protection when you control the plant. So stem injection is an effective method of uh, controlling uh, broadleaf pepper. So what you do is around the base of the tree, drill holes in this case with a 10 mil drill bit and fill that up with glyphosate at a rate of 1 to 1.5. That means one part glyphosate and one and a half parts water. And work your way all the way around the tree. An effective control method for smaller broadleaf pepper is what we call cut, scrape and paint. And the way we go about it is we first clean around the plant so we can actually see where the plant gets into the ground. The next thing we do is we scrape the outsides exposing the cambium phloem layer of the plant all the way around. Once that phloem layer has been exposed, we cut. And then we apply herbicide. In this case, glyphosate at a rate of one to 1.5. In other words, one part glyphosate, one and a half parts water. So smaller plants like seedlings and saplings can be hand pulled, but be careful that you pull out the entire root system where possible. <laughs>